Put you on the spot. Where do you get that? Oh, one? but I've said this before on a, on a previous uh, engagement on your platform that we 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 have we have a um, what, what word did I use? We have a supposed fight against corruption because you see, if 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 the populace, but Mary made reference to alluded to the fact succinctly that the populace feel that the electoral cycle is the only time where they can actually get a share of the national cake. Because the political class have created a certain gulf between ourselves and the populace. Mm. And, and we have arrogated to ourselves the largesse of state. And so you have corrupt businessmen and corrupt business interests that will corrupt politicians, fund them, but that money doesn't necessarily sit with politicians. It has to trickle down. For you to then get office, and then so it's, a, it's an endless cycle. You know something? If you look at the, the way the monies have been reported in the case, you then realize that what the minister apparently may be doing, and that's my own deduction, I'm not saying that that's mm -hmm. factual, is but I didn't building, 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 building a storehouse for her tomorrow mm -hmm. and her children, and then also building the one for political expediency. So there's the millions of cities. That's the one you give in a sin note. Because a sin note, I didn't see dollars. But then the dollars will be used to buy up, buy, buy up a future for, for, right. for children. But you see, the point is... And I understand that the office, real estate business is where a lot of the uh, money the real estate that the politicians business, the real, real estate business in Ghana is money laundering. If our authorities want to deal with it, they will deal with it. The cost of real estate in Ghana is not justifiable by any stretch. You keep seeing all these new high-rise buildings going up and they are selling them for half a million, a million dollars, and they keep buying and buying amongst themselves. So I have dirty money to clean. I put up a real estate property. You also have dirty money. You come and buy the property from me. Then automatically your money becomes clean. Then tomorrow you also start building your own. Then I come back and buy. And we are just cleaning the money. Okay. And we are sitting here. Let, let Agencies 
in their work as implementers of the anti-money laundering law. Hey, there's something like that. Okay, we continue to engage and collaborate with them by way of numerous workshops and seminars for greater members to build our capacity and ensure compliance with the law. And they went on and on and on and so he was, they were saying that the statement that Sam George said, it kind of sounds like Sam George is downplaying all this, uh, the hardworking members of, uh, you know, um, Greta. That they are, everything is there. It's Sam George that is trying to, you know, uh-huh. Now they said that we demand an immediate unqualified apology and retraction of this unfortunate statement within seven days of this press statement. We, however, wish to serve him notice, and notice is hereby served that we reserve our right to seek legal redress should he not retract his unfortunate comments and apologize accordingly. Which means they are saying that if Sam Joy doesn't apologize, then they will take the matter to court. And Sam Joy said, For here, for here. For here. Sam Joy said, For here. <laughs> so Sam Joy also released a press statement. Now, Sam George's press statement, you know, the first two lines, that's where the violence is. The first line, you know, he said, I have taken note of a statement issued by Executive Council of Greta demanding immediate unqualified apology and retraction of comments I made on Joy FM news line day, 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 on Saturday. Let me start by stating that I have absolutely no intention to render an apology, qualified nor unqualified, nor make any retraction. Violence, oh yeah. <laughs> I, Sam just said he has no intentions, and that the a um as a public servant, you know, his his loyalty is to the truth. So he there he has spoken the truth. So he is going to do no no such thing as an apology, whether qualified or unqualified. And he went ahead to say that we all remember the case in 2016 of Dr. Alexander Kofi Chenebua, a former president of Ghana, who was arrested, prosecuted, and sentenced to two years in jail for the criminal enterprise of Sim Boxing. Now, <laughs> Sam George also said this on Metro TV. Watch this video. The, the gentleman who used to be the president of Greta, hmm. was he not a president of Greta when he was doing Sim Box fraud? Right. So when Greta speaks as though they are a bunch of angels, and, th and think that they have the right to issue threats and deadlines and ultimatums in this country. Right. You must be very careful. Very, so, very careful. Right. So if we're going, going by the, their release, that seven-day ultimatum, clearly you said you will not apologize. Are you ready for court then? They should go to court tomorrow. And they'll see how, how much of a joke they are. They should go to court tomorrow. I'm challenging them to go to court tomorrow. They shouldn't wait for seven days. Seven days is too long. Greta should go to court. A book one fuller is going to go to court tomorrow. I'll meet them in court. And I will establish before the court of Ghana the instances of money laundry in the real estate sector. But, but why do you think they are in denial? I mean, it, it, it exists. I mean, people know that some do Look, it. Why, why do you think they are in denial then? Everybody in this country knows that our real estate sector doesn't add up. A square meter in some parts of Accra are more expensive than a square meter in Manhattan. In New York, it just doesn't make sense. It is, it is, it is straight knowledge everybody knows. Why they are trying to play the ostrich and be hypocrites, which is the bane of our country, where we see the truth and we hate to say the truth and find the solutions to it, is why Ghana is in the mess it is. We like to celebrate mediocrity and 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 dishonesty instead of honesty. Right. You know, and that's the problem of our country, and that's what I'm saying. They should go to court. And that's why I've made it a very clear that I don't intend to offer any apology, qualified or unqualified, right. or a retraction. So they should not wait for seven days. They should go to court tomorrow. All right. So some guys, they're stopping academy. Some guys, they're stopping academy. Now, some guys are saying that no matter what, they should take him to court. Now, if they, even if they go to court, he will prove to the court that this whole Ghana, a real estate, a, you know, most of them, most of them are doing it for money laundering. Now, we, ha we all have conversations at home with friends, nay, 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 nay. And this thing that Sam just said, I've heard it before. A lot of people have said it. Some of you cry, you've been saying, today cry, right now, okay, you are saying it. <laughs> I, a lot of you have been saying it. But now the, the greater are saying that it's a lie, so Sam just should 
we can't. Now let's see how this thing goes. But share your, your views in the comment section. Do you think Greta is acting suspicious? Or you think they are in their right to ask for an apology from some judge? And also do you think some judge was right for making that statement? Or you think he shouldn't have made that statement? Even if it's true or not. Now share with me your views, your personal views. If you think what Sam George said is true and that the real estate industry in Ghana, the way prices are high, you will see a house in East Legon, they are selling the house for $1.2 million. Meanwhile, you see a bigger house in America and it's like $75,000. <laughs> hey, now when you talk about it, eh, of course people will say that in yeah, America, no, they use a wood and things like that to build their homes. But in Ghana, they, we, we use yeah, friends, eh? cement and iron rod and building materials. Fine. Now let's talk about the land. One plot of land in East Legon can go for like $200,000. What, what crime have we committed? So let me know, do you think it's all part of the money laundering thing? And you think the real estate industry in Ghana doesn't make sense in terms of the pricing? Let me know in the comment section. Share your views. And also watch other videos on this channel. Yeah, it is. Yeah,